And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Heimerdinger. This is our third random champion deck of the day. This is where we just kind of used a random number generator to determine what our champion pairings were going to be. And we built decks around it and we got Fiora and Heimerdinger together. So we basically made this kind of a, a Fiora deck that just happens to have Heimerdinger. Kind of that's, that's how we went with. Heimerdinger now is another one of these multi-region champions that does have Bandle City. We don't have to play Piltoverns on. So that's what we're, we're going to do. We're going to play Bandle City along with Fiora. Because I think Bandle City gives us more things to help Fiora out than what, um, what Piltoverns on does. Because we get stress defense to help save Fiora at different times. That could be a really good defensive tool for Fiora. And then we also have um, both Trinket Trade, Conchologist that will make random uh, three or less cost spells so these will be able to create more spells that help protect fiora they could be like the purple berry shake is a is a pretty is a pretty nice one especially if we have like a one health fiora at growing it for one mana or you know like all these other demacia spells that will go along pretty well with fiora so that's what we're kind of doing um and you know we're making a, a deck that's going to be a strong fiora deck we'll have our bright seal protectors our chain vest all that kind of stuff then we just kind of have Heimerdinger in the deck. That's kind of how it is. But we got Prismatic Barrier, Repost, some different strikes with Concerted Strike and Single Combat. We should be able to make more Single Combat type cards with these uh, Trinket Trade and, and Conchologist also. And then we got Hidden Pathways to draw, draw some cards. Just got a Mini Morph in here because it's pretty pretty strong. We'll just have one of those in here and one Judgment for the Fiora. Maybe against like a Lulu Poppy deck we get to Judgment the Fiora. That could be pretty sweet. So that's our deck. That's what we have here. We have Fiora Heimerdinger, <laughs> kind of combining those two together. Let's go play our five games and have some fun. All right, playing against Timo Caitlin for our first deck. Both Fiora and Heimer were at the pool party, so we get the pool party board. All right, we definitely do not want to draw more cards. I do like Sharp Sight at blocking Timo. All right, found a Fiora. Sharpside also protects Fiora pretty well. Tough places bring tough people. Hmm. I'm gonna wait a little bit to play the Fiora. To the world below. Don't have to play it right away. News from the Undercity Shift, Detective Zane. It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Hey, Jumpy. I don't, I don't know if this is going to work out perfectly for us. <laughs> yeah, I got a new Fiora deck. What, we're, what we do here on Fridays here, Jumpy, is we uh, just kind of roll the dice and use a random number generator to create champion pairings for us. And we got Fiora plus Heimerdinger for a champion pairing. That worked out horribly for us. What seems to be the problem? Have a mushroom. Have three. So just kind of deciding to get Heimerdinger in play so that our spells will get us some turrets. It's 
deck can be so good if you have Caitlyn on round three and if your opponent can't kill your Caitlyn. Like, Caitlyn can really just take over the game. That's what Caitlyn's been doing, is just taking over the game. Correct, Valiant, yes. Thing about these tough turrets, they can just eat up the flash bombs. Or not. I guess not. I guess they don't do damage individually. So just kind of like the, the game was like our two champions, right? Like they had Caitlyn, I had Fiora, they just had a they did a better job of having you know, like their Caitlyn killed my Fiora, and that was that was the game they did a better job of. It was like, you know, whose champion killed the other. I just shouldn't have blocked with the quick attack. That was a mistake by me. I should have just let the damage happen. You dropped something. Dropped everything. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Yes, yes, Timo's the other champion for the opponent. Puffcaps right now. Examining the evidence. I don't think there's any Nexus healing in these two regions, like that I can find with like Trinket Trade or anything. We made it! Yay! But our stuff did it. Yeah, we're, we don't have any next ceiling, so I don't, I don't think there's really any out for us with just, because we're gonna have to like draw a lot of cards and everything, so these puff caps should just do us in. We're, yeah, we're unfortunately only just wasting time at this point. Great hand opponent. Sting Officer into Caitlyn into a lot of good spells. Heimer is a Yordle, yes. Alright, I like our chances here a little bit better, because I don't think that they'll have as good of a hand again. Don't think that's possible. I don't know, the chain that seems to do a lot for one mana for a one mana card. Oh yeah, the deck tracker may not have Heimer as a Yordle yet. That could not maybe that's not updated. Heimer just started being a Yordle this expansion. That's whenever Yordles were introduced. What wondrous discoveries await below. I should just put the, the tough on the Fiora because of this one flash bomb, shouldn't I? Okay. On foot. Shop 
Uh, Justin Elio with the Twitch Prime sub gets us to our sub goal on the day. Bringing in the hype. Thank you so much there, Justin. Our fifth sub today. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I kind of like keeping this 2-1 out here to maybe eat the Flash Bomb, but... Talk about a card I wasn't expecting at all. Because even if I use the Riposte to save the Fiora, which I guess I have to... The Fiora does not get a kill. Kill my champs. Oh, found me. Okay, level up swing. I don't really want to like draw two immediately with the flash bombs being, you know, we have at least, a, yeah, at least four more flash bombs in the next four cards. Could be more than that. It's gonna be a nasty Noxian guillotine. It's gonna be able to kill both champions. Certainly expecting, you know, this to happen. I can't pass though. No. Huh. So, yeah, that's strange. I was planning on playing, like, I was gonna play the other Heimerdinger. That's what I would have done. Now I have all these like little one ones to help eat the flash bombs. No, we hit that thing. Ugh, that was a bad prank. Obviously, we didn't want to hit the Noxian Guillotine. Giving making this thing a one three instead of a three three doesn't really matter. That was not a very good prank. even worth it either. I'm glad they didn't just, you know, use the Noxian Guillotine, though. They're kind of wasting cards. I kind of want to play the Progress Day before it turns back into Heimerdinger. Because I'm going to need more cards. This isn't, like, the worst time to have the Flash Bombs come out here. I 
It's a regular ravenous flock, not a swain one. After the battle, the yeah, barrier doesn't doesn't stop that. I feel like maybe I should have just played Progress Day. Let me get you that file. What seems to be the problem? Okay. I am perfectly satisfied drawing two cards. Was that a created card from the Archivist, or did they just no? Because they just had that in their hand, right? So their Archivist just missed, right? I think it just missed. I'm just really worried about Leviathan, yeah, like that card. So like that card I kind of have to fight with the Concerted Strike. Zero Flash Bombs. gonna hit me. That's how it is. Are we gonna get hit for two, get two flash bombs? But we will level up Heimerdinger. And so now all these turrets won't have one health anymore, they're gonna have two health, that's good. What? Oh, wow, Martin says, imagine a Pool Party T-Hex. Yeah, what if these... What if Pool Party Heimer made Pool Party turrets? Pool Party Tech. That would be pretty cool. Alright, they have another Leviathan. Make him discard it. Oh, Caitlyn is their most expensive card in hand? Alright, so they got one card that we don't know about. One fleeting card. Whirling death. Whirling death. Double whirling death on the same thing. They're kind of lucky I don't have any way to kill that or any way to stop that. This is Nexus Strike to put the traps in, not just like regular strike. I'm just going to go ahead and stress defense this thing. Prismatic barrier, this thing. Let's put them down to five. So wait, it's a pretty big waste of a ravenous flock, but you know that kind of just shows they have nothing else left in hand. So I think that we are going to be winning this game. That was a waste of a ravenous flock. You never know, like a flash bomb could like damage like the T hex or the Heimer, and then you kill that. But they're they're just not in a good spot at all. I think we got this one. There we go. All right, one and one. Good Heimerdinger win. As real karma. So, like, 
like I was kind of saying here, like our, our two champions, they kind of do different things. So against Ezreal Karma, we don't really need... I mean, I like that card a lot, but I'm going to send it back. <clears throat> so we don't really need uh, Fiora. Fiora doesn't really help us. But then Heimer can be really good in this matchup. So we can have... Um, you know, one of our champions for each kind of deck. Are they aggro? Let's grab Fiora, their control. We get Heimer. So I'll just pass, see, see what happens. Okay. That one card by itself is two creative cards for the Hidden Pathways. Three, two, Vulnerable, or four, Mana, Mystic Shot. I think the four mana is probably not going to matter that much. Three, I'm going to get the three, two, Vulnerable. I feel like we're going to have a lot of mana that we're going to be wasting <laughs> in here each way. Bobby Ross! Welcome back. Yes, Bandal is the new Targon. It, it just generates all the cards. Ooh, get rid of a Scattered Pod. That's a good one to have him discard. Aloof Traveler's doing its thing. Walking is strange. Uh. I go back. Time to play any more time! Fine. We are really going to stress defense in this game. Basically keeping the stress defense up if we need it. If they like Will of Ionia or anything like that, like where then we can hit in pathways to create a 3 1 that we can play the 3 1 to be a blocker. The dark beckons. love them recalling Heimer, which makes me want to go here, but then they could go get excited. And then I have repost for get excited, I guess. Uh. If they pass, I pass. I'll waste one mana, they'll waste three. Okay, so they're not even using the Mystic Shot I know about. You should always use the, the card the opponent knows about. They have the two little eyes here to mark them. Because now I just have, you know, I just have more information now. I just now know about a, a Mystic Shot in hand. Otherwise, they could have just had, like, all of this, all five of these be hidden information, basically. But now they're not. Let's go make the Fiora 1-6 and get the 3-1. Basically treating that as like 3 mana, play a 3-1 and make Fiora 1-6. So we need, oh, we need, Heimer's at 8 out of 12. I guess I could play Repost. That, that's like the only card, that's the only card in my hand that levels up Heimer.
This stress defense card is really good. Just so flexible, being able to use it on your own units or your opponent's units. I definitely thought at first it was just set like an ally's stats to 1 6. I didn't realize you could use it on your enemy. So, like, they got a huge 10 power attacker or whatever, you can just turn it into a 1 6. Maybe playing stress defense with a bunch of. Just want to level Heimer. That's not a very good use of Repose at all, but I just want to level Heimer. Anyway, maybe using stress defense with uh, dragons could be really cool. You know, you have like your, like, Eclipse Dragon. You know, this thing is something that would like be able to always eat 1-6s from the opponent's side. Vandal City, of course, has the amazing two drops and spells and stuff like that, so you can have that and then have, like, Aurelian Soul and Dragons at the top end. Okay, so Heimer is leveled. That will be important for future Heimers. This would level up Fiora, if this works. You haven't seen Aurelian Soul played since patch 2.1. So that means, two, or, you know, 2.10, so... That sounds like we need to play some more Aurelian Soul. Yeah, you can go Targon or Demacia with Dragons. I was thinking Eclipse Dragon, because Eclipse Dragon's a 7-7, so I guess Targon. Yeah, Bandal City has a lot of engines, but Heimerdinger does take over games. Like if you know, you leave Heimerdinger unchecked. So they're probably going to want to play Karma this round, which means I need to have Concerted Strike, but they could have. Uh, they can have Deny. They can play Karma plus Deny. I'm, not, I'm honestly not too mad at that. That means they won't be able to protect Karma. I see Why would you not block the 4 2 Fearsome? Yeah, I have Conchologist instead of Telescope. We could have played Telescope instead of um, this Bright Steel Protector, but I felt like the Protect. You know, like we we're trying to make it Fiora. The Telescope doesn't really help Fiora. Where the Conchologist can get you like extra spells to protect Fiora. Let's go. T Hex. Yeah, they can definitely kill you. We could definitely die. They play Karma also. This could be a lot of Nexus damage with spells. If they have like Karma plus a whole lot of spells. Pass, you say. Pass does not sound like Karma plus a whole lot of spells. Why not pass as well? Because, uh, I don't know, Ezreal gonna kill me. Karma gives them a lot of value, but Ezreal kills me. I was hoping to find a fight spell for Fiora. A single combat. Anything like that. Is 
they didn't play any spells. Oh, what a great draw. Alright, that will do. I was gonna say they need a lot of things to go right for them for them to just stay alive that round. I, I didn't think they really could. Alright, two and one. This feels like like what if Heimer was in Targon? <laughs> you know, like that's what this feels like. Yeah, very long games. And we got another control mirror. I'm facing all control mirrors so far. Alright, so this is going to be a 1-2 that can't block. This is probably going to be just a pretty tough matchup if they're making a lot of... Oh man, that's actually that's just really good. That's just like the perfect card right here. Yeah, that's... what a setup. Cards really matter. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. I guess think like in a long game, I'm trying to think like which one would have the potential to help us out the most, and that'd probably be the single combat. And I don't know why I'm not attacking with this one too. Yeah, this is bad. You do not get to transform your own unit. I can't just like turn this 1-2 two into a 3-3. Three, three. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be a nice, nice little, neat little trick, but you can only use mini morph on enemies. Fantastic. I guess sometimes you just don't have any units. This prank was so perfect for my opponent. And it was perfect. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. With our crystals combined. <laughs> I think we'll be able to have four. Never mind. I say I think we were going to be able to have four units in play, but maybe not. Alright, so two and two. I am here until I am no more. Not expecting to win every single time with these kind of decks. Sometimes you just draw way too many spells. Way too many spells. 
Tarek Jarvan. That's a cool little champion combination. Tarek and Jarvan together. Our last matchup was a very good aloof travelers matchup. I'm gonna keep all of it actually. I'm gonna keep the three mana draw three. Or draw two, sorry. Can we have a Fiora game? Mayhaps. We had a couple of hybrid games with some wins earlier. Could be a Fiora game. If I attack for three there, then they get to play a unit post combat, and then they get to play a Terra here, and then they get to support that unit. You dropped something. I dropped everything. See you, Jarvin. Loof Travelers is so good. Strike on guard. Strike without worry. I'm gonna have eight in the next round. Just having that kind of information is just a power powerful tool of cards in their hand. Until he said something. I would have preferred to save that spell mana, but I didn't want to just pass the priority to them and let them pass it back to me and I waste all you know, I waste all that mana. Why not put it on the Tarek and have the Tarek copy? They missed out on the Tarek being a 4-5, and then also this would have been 3 out of 7. Alright, but well they're going to go ahead and pack it up, because that's going to level up the Fiora, and it looks like they just don't have a good answer to Fiora, so there we go. Fiora winning the game, 3-2. and two. All right, so for the random champion combination, I thought this was a really, really good one because this is a definitely a, a champion combination that I would not put together myself, right? Like, I wouldn't think of building a, a Fiora Heimerdinger deck, but it was honestly really interesting just seeing it in practice of how they really work together because they, they have, like, their different strengths and weaknesses, um, but they can be good against different types of decks. Whenever you play against a deck with a whole lot of units, like we saw like that last game, you can just kind of shut them down with Fiora. And we saw like how they were just like really scared to put anything else in. And then, you know, once we repost our Fiora to kill their dragon, they're kind of done from there. And so Fiora just, just does that against some decks. We didn't play against any Lulu Poppy here, but I bet Fiora would be quite good against Lulu Poppy, as obviously as long as you can keep your Fiora alive. They do have like the pokey stick for the barriers that you have to watch out for and everything like that. But anyway, um, you know, Fiora can can really help you in those kind of matchups. And then in your slower control decks, like when we played against Ezreal Karma, Caitlyn Swain, that kind of stuff, you have Heimerdinger. So you kind of have like you you kind of have like two different decks in here. You have your like anti-aggro champion with Fiora and your anti-control champion with Heimerdinger, where Heimer will just get you your turrets and get you all the value that it can and things like that. So it's kind of Kind of cool playing both of them together and then you have like some just really good quality 
units that work with both, whether it's aloof travelers or conchologist. Those cards are just going to be very strong with both of them. And that was our deck, and it was it was pretty cool to to just you know see how they worked together. All right, but that's going to be it here though for Fiora Heimerdinger. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. The comments help out the channel. Uh, let me know how you're liking the random champion decks. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. Um, you know, any you know if you play it yourself, how you know, how's it go for you? If you if you've always wanted a Fiora Heimerdinger deck, here you go. Um, anything else? Always love seeing them. All right, but that's going to be it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.